Hello everyone! This is Sunday, January 25th, 2015. My name's Katie of Nekozuki Yarns and I want to welcome back everybody who's watched me before and welcome any new viewers. This is episode 4 and I'm coming to you from Calgary, Alberta, Canada where it feels like spring even though it's the end of January. <laughs> we had a big Chinook come through and it's melted most of the snow and it's above zero and as you can see from the light coming across it's nice and gorgeous outside and I'm here talking to you because I enjoy that and it's Sunday and it's been two weeks and I'm trying to keep myself on track to actually record and talk to you guys every two weeks. This is not going to be a long podcast. I've got a little bit to talk about for reading um, but most of my progress for knitting has been secret knitting. I'm currently working on a design and so it's not something I feel comfortable showing right now. Not until I've finished it and I've got it photographed and out for test knitting. Um, I'm still working out a few of the kinks. I've basically written the whole pattern and now I'm testing my own pattern to make sure that stuff is working. I have actually changed a few things just so that it um, flows better and yeah. I love designing actually. I really do but there's a lot of work involved in it. I've graded the pattern. That's probably the most work is like trying to figure out how to size it up and how to size it down because I kind of hit the mid-range of what I normally try to design for um, because I know there's not a lot of patterns for the higher range of sizes so I usually try and go about 10 inches above my own size which is 42 to 44 inches in bust so generally I try to go to about a f I think my first design was 48 I think the Confederation Park cross stitch top was a 48 um, this one will be up to a 52 and it does have lots of positive ease because I just want a nice giant like curl up on Sunday and cuddle into a sweater when it's nice and cold with your coffee and read that kind of sweater or watch movies or whatever it's a cuddle sweater speaking of coffee so that's been my wa ween main work in progress so I can't show that to you right now but I have also made some progress on my socks. These are the Regia Fluoromania socks, which is a 75-25 wool nylon blend. They're nice and bright, and I'm excited about them. These have been actually kind of neglected the past couple weeks because I have been carrying my sweater around, um, even on the train, because it's been super simple. I did... It's a bottom-up raglan, I can tell you that. Um, and the body was worked separate from the sleeves. Not much else to say about it right now. <laughs> um, Hathaway is still in time out. However, I do have a couple things I want to cast on um, once I have my sweater swatch done. Um, that sweater I'm planning, right now I'm planning that it will, um, we're going out to some Lake Louise next weekend. I have to book tea and I want to get some photos out there of it. So I'm planning to have the pattern up for testing by the, like, 8th, um, the second weekend in February at the latest, uh, if not earlier. I'll let you know on the podcast for sure. I won't be recording next weekend, but I will just be getting photographs, so I have a feeling it'll be the 7th, 8th when it goes up. If it's already gone up, I can always use more testers. <laughs> Don't mind. Um, anyway, after that, I actually have a couple other patterns to do. I have a cowl pattern that needs to be photographed. And then I have mitten patterns. Actually, I have two of those that I need to also work on. And a third that just needs a tutorial done with it. Um, after all of that, I want to cast on the topography kerchief. Can you see it? You can see it. Um, so this is by Melissa Stajda. Stada. Uh, S-T-A-G-A-D-A. I need more coffee, obviously. Um, I found her as Hey Lady Hey everywhere. Can see it right down there. There we go. Um, Yarn Inc. on Instagram was actually hosting a giveaway for this, and I won it, and I was so happy because she's the Melissa has actually designed this so that different colors in a variegated yarn are a design feature, which is really cool. And she actually suggests Yarn Inc which I have this lovely skein of neon pop and once I want you remember this I purchased it and I re hadn't realized that it had sparkles in it and then I got it and there were sparkles and I was like perfect this isn't going to be socks though 
Um, so I'm pretty sure that the topography kerchief will be cast on with that. And then the next one I want to um, knit is Andrea or Andrea Rangel's Sentiment. It's nice, squishy, out of um, Malabrigo Rasta. And it's gorgeous. I love it. There's a little bit more information. You can find it on Rav. She's a Vancouver Island designer. And I've been watching some of her patterns recently. And this is one of the ones that I want, I've wanted to knit since I found out about her. So those are those two. Um, I did actually do lots and lots of reading this week. I have done... Well... I finished the first three books of Sarah J. Mace's uh, Throne of Glass series. Gorgeous covers. I'm so glad Canada got these covers because I've seen some of the others and they're like meh. So the first one's Th Throne of Glass, then Crown of Midnight, then Air of Fire. I think so far it's set for six books. They've just announced the title for the fourth book, which is um, Queen of Shadows. Super excited about it. I'm also super excited about um, her new series, Crown of Rose and Thorns. Then there's this, Entwined by Heather Dixon, which I finished. It's a rewrite of Twelve Dancing Princesses. Loved it. Um, I don't know that fairy tale very well, but it, I really enjoyed it. Um, Throne of Glass, I would say, is probably uh, 15 plus because of gore uh, and a fate to black sex scene in the second book and more mature themes as you go. Did not enjoy the first book as much. Um, just felt too rushed and too... I'm trying to break, like the author was kind of trying to break cliches but uh, fell into the pit of the next cliche which is the whole I'm a female assassin but I still like pretty clothes thing. And yeah, that's all fine and good, but um, I didn't like her very much in the first book. It, second and third book were amazing. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it actually, but stick it out through the first book. Entwined, uh, 12 plus, although if you have squeamish children or children that are um, scary easily, uh, older. <laughs> There's a couple scenes in here that even freaked me out at 25. Then the f next one I'm working on is called Ink by Amanda Soon which is about a girl who's lost her mother and she's moved halfway across the world to Japan. Um, the main character is named Katie, which I think is fantastic. And I bought this mostly for the cover, I must admit. Like, it's gorgeous. I love the back of it, too. Okay. Um, anime, I'm watching Sailor Moon Crystal right now. Shop news, I'm working on the design. And actually, we're going to have a very cowboy-themed... Uh, update in a couple weeks in February, first weekend, 7th or 8th. Um, yeah, I'm trying out a new camera right now. My battery light is flashing at me, so I'm going to finish here soon because I've already recorded about 20 minutes and it cut off on me and now it's flashing red. So, all right, more shop news will be in a couple of weeks. I will record February 8th um, and that will be the shop update information and hopefully a little bit more information about the design I should have it at worst case scenario finished by then and uh, out to test it so if you want to join let me know you can find me on all social media as Nekozuki Yarns N-E-K-O-Z-U-K-I Yarns means cat lover um, you can come join the Ravelry group we have 52 members right now, and once we reach 100, we'll be doing a giveaway, or I'll be doing a giveaway of something I haven't decided yet, although it might involve a design or a project bag or maybe some gift certificates. Um, yeah, and that topography kerchief is actually part of a cowl with Melissa on Instagram. You can search her hey under slash lady under slash hey. And that'll bring her up and you can participate in the cowl. That's the other reason that I want to actually cast it on. It runs until February 20th. And let's see. Oh, I want to give out a shout out to Two Tangled Skeins, which is another podcast out of, Al um, not Alberta, but Canada, in Ontario. And uh, I've been watching them the last few weeks and really enjoying it. It's good to see some other Canadian uh, fiber artists. And... We're under 10 minutes, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, come join me in Rav or find me on any other social media as Nekozuki Yarns. You can find me on Goodreads, which is where you can keep up with what I'm reading. 
challenge myself to read 60 books this year. I'm currently, I think that's the sixth book I'm reading right now. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I hope that if you have warm weather, you're able to open the windows or go out and enjoy it. And I hope I haven't talked too fast right now. And have an awesome day, everybody. And I will talk to you in a couple weeks. Bye.